I might go ahead and change this around a little bit so that it uses a little bit better MVC style. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to take out is I'm going to take out the database interaction and I'm going to put that into a model. So I'm going to say new PHP class. Let's just call it an album model. It's going to go ahead and put a bunch of stuff in here. I don't necessarily need any of it. So at its core, the classes are really, really simple. I'm going to want it to connect to the database whenever the object is created. So I'm going to say public function construct, because that's my constructor. And I'm going to pass in my data source, my username, and my password. And then I'm just going to copy this from over here. So now I've created this database variable, but I don't want it to be local to the function. I actually want it to be local to the uh, object. I want it to be a private variable. So I'm going to say that it's private DB. And then to make that work, I just need to say this DB. And then that way, whenever we instantiate the object, now that will work. And I did change my variables a little bit here. So then I just need to provide a function to go ahead and get, let's just call it get latest albums. It's not actually what it does, but it's a much more interesting function name than what we could probably do. And I'm a little uh, pedantic about this. I'm going to go ahead and label my closing curly braces because it drives me crazy when I can't remember which curly brace is which. So our get latest albums is probably going to need to return an array. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here in my PHP doc. Right now it says that it's returning void, but actually I'm going to have it return an array. And that array is going to be the records from the database as an array of arrays. It doesn't take any parameters, so I can just start moving some of my code over. So I've got, I'm still going to need to prepare a statement. I'm still going to need to execute a statement. But after that point, I probably won't need any of that display logic. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in here. Close off my if statement. I've got my statement. I need to have it use the private variable instead of the local variable. Statement is executing. We're still fetching everything. So I can just go ahead and return this. If it doesn't execute, I'm just going to go ahead and return false. Or I could return a new array so that it always returns an array. It's what I told it I was going to do up in the documentation, so I probably ought to do that. Uh, and I really ought to go in and put some tries and catches around the stuff that could break. So one of the things that could break would be this guy. So if I can't connect to the database for some reason, it will generate a PDO exception. And if it does generate a PDO exception, I can't really do anything about it. So if nothing else, I'm just going to go ahead and var dump out that expression. Now, normally, I would do something a bit more intelligent, like returning an error or something like that. But there's nothing I can really do about it, not in this limited time frame. So that'll work. Now, this execute can also fail. So I want to go ahead and try to catch that as well. Basically the same deal. Normally you would return maybe a false here or, or do something interesting. For what we're going to handle today, uh, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Couldn't query the database. So if everything goes well, we'll execute our query. We'll fetch all of our rows and we will go ahead and return them. If something bombs out, we catch it. We'll show a little error. We shouldn't do that in the model, but we're going to do it anyway. We'll dump out our error just so we can see what's going on, and we'll return an empty array. So all of that code that we had up in here, we don't need anymore. So I can now just say my model is a new album model, and then I just need to pass in our DSM, our database user, and our database password. Now, in order to instantiate this model, I really need to require once my album model so that we've actually got that class to instantiate. So we've got our model here, and then I'm just going to go ahead and say that my rows are equal to my model, and call my get latest albums. It doesn't take any arguments, so that's really it, at which point I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that, and I can just loop over them. 
So all that I've managed to do there is extract out all of that query logic. But if I run it, does it still work? It's close. But it looks like I took out a little too much stuff, so I need my last album back. There we go. So I'm back to just plain working again with having extracted a model. I'm not too keen on having these database constants in this file, and I would have to keep putting them in any file that would want to use this album model. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new PHP file to hold these constants. Now this isn't a perfect plan because I'm now creating a dependency on this file. Maybe it would be better, better for me to create a base class that had these constants in it. You know, however you want to do it is kind of up to you. There's nothing uh, magical and there's no one right way to do it. So I've got my database.php and here I just need to use my DSN, my user, my pass. Again, that should still work. Yep, but at least now my stuff isn't hard-coded. So now I should really go through and extract out all of this HTML. 